What is up, guys? So I'm back with episode three of Top 10 Free Cydia Tweaks for your iDevice. Now, this will probably most likely be just for iPhone slash iPod Touch, but there may be some of them that are compatible with the iPad. Now, if you haven't checked out my first episode of Top Free Cydia Tweaks or my second episode of Top Free Cydia Tweaks, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the links down below in the description. And also, I'll leave a link down below for the Top 10 Paid free city of tweaks for your eye device. Now let's go ahead and start off with the first one. Now the first one is scale. Scale is a simple city of tweak that allows you to actually share what you are listening to currently on your music application. And it gives you this new little icon right here. So if we tap on the icon, we are able to send it out through email, message, Twitter, Facebook, add to playlist and copy the actual um, details of the song. So you see here we have I am listening to Gunwalk or whatever song you're playing and then it'll give you the artist name as well. So I really use this a lot for Twitter. I just like to just tweet out what I'm listening to at the moment from my music app. Um, so that is why I actually like this one. So that is Scale. You can find it for free of course. Another thing that I like about this is you can add to a playlist right here. So you can add to a playlist and just click on or tap on whatever playlist you'd like to add that song to. So, anyways guys, check it out. Let me know what you think about this tweak. Next up is Thumbs Up. So, Thumbs Up is a simple tweak as well that allows you to use it with Pandora. It's, it has to do with Pandora. So, as you can probably already tell, it has to do with thumbing up the song or even thumbing it down. So, let's go ahead and start playing this. And we go to our lock screen right here. Let's go ahead and turn this off real quick and then when we tap or double tap on the home button here we get our music controls and also you see the thumbs down and the thumbs up so now you are able to thumbs up a song or even thumbs down a song straight from your lock screen so they also have different activation methods to thumbs up a song and thumbs down a song I actually don't have that enabled on my device uh, but you can go into your settings and activate or set an activate method to thumb up a song and thumb down a song. So for example, you could probably double tap on the status bar on the right side of it and then have it thumbs up or thumb down when you double tap on the left part of the status bar. So that is just an idea that you could use it for, but I don't have that enabled on mine. So again, guys, that is called thumbs up. It's a simple tweak that allows you to thumbs up a song and thumbs down a song through either your lock screen or through an activation method on your iDevice. Next up is Crescent. Now, Crescent is a tweak I actually recently covered. It allows you to enable and disable the Do Not Disturb feature using Siri. So let's go ahead and try it out real quick. Enable Do Not Disturb. Okay, I enable Do Not Disturb for you. So you see there, I just enabled Do Not Disturb. Now we're going to disable it. Disable Do Not Disturb. I turned off do not disturb for you. So by simply saying enable or disable do not disturb, using Siri, you are able to disable and enable that feature. So I found this a little useful sometimes whenever I do activate do not disturb, instead of having to go into settings, I just simply use Siri to turn it on and turn it off. Next up on the list is gonna be Bright to Vader. Now this is a tweak that allows you to turn up and down your brightness using any activation method you set it as. So I have mine set up as if I simply tap and hold on my status bar on the right side, I turn up the brightness. And if I tap and hold on the left side, I turn down my brightness. Now that is pretty awesome because you can do it whenever you are in any application or anything like that, whatever you set it as. Now it does allow you to use the volume buttons as your brightness control as well within 30 seconds of activating uh, Brightivator. So you are able to do that. And I, I find this tweak really awesome and it is free. So go ahead and check it out, guys. Again, it's called Brightivator. Bright Evader. I can't even say it. Bright Evader. Bright. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next tweak. This one is called Clear Badges. Now, Clear Badges... If you get tired of these annoying badges right here, this tweak will help you get rid of those. 
So all you got to do is simply tap and hold on your applications and set it to wiggle mode. And once you're done with that, go ahead and double tap on the application and it gets rid of your badges on your app. So I find this really useful for those annoying badges on your apps. Now the next tweak is called landscape videos. Now what this does, it basically forces the orientation to landscape mode when you are watching your videos. So let's go ahead and turn on this YouTube video. So whenever we are in portrait mode like this, if we try to maximize the video, it just looks terrible. So let's go ahead and set our orientation lock on. As you see there, I enabled that. And let's exit out of this real quick. And once we hit play once again, we are forced into landscape mode. So it is really nice because then you won't have to watch your video in portrait mode because who the hell watches their videos in portrait mode? Um, if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there's a really easy way to force your videos into landscape mode and it's called landscape videos. Go ahead and check it out in Cydia, guys. Now this next tweak is called type status. Now this is something that probably won't even be beneficial for a lot of you guys, but it's really nice seeing this on your status bar. So you see there, you get that little bubble, uh, the typing bubble whenever someone is typing through your iMessage application. So I'm testing it out real quick and you see there it's turning on and off because I am uh, typing and then not typing. And then now I get that text message. So it lets you know when someone is typing back to you via your status bar. So I find it really nice and it's something that will I mean, give you an idea of when you're receiving a text message while you're in any application. So again, guys, that is type status. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, the following tweak is called Diet Bulletin. It has to do with your notification banners. Now, I sometimes get annoyed by the uh, massive bulletins or notifications I receive up top whenever I'm on the internet or just doing anything on my iDevice. So this simply diet downs your bulletin bar right there. So it is the same size as your status bar. So when you do receive a long message with a lot of text, as you see here, um, I got tweeted by iPhone problems. Go ahead and follow him if you're not following him yet. Wink, wink. Um, it, it actually scrolls through the long message for you. So this is very useful for me at least. So it just makes your uh, actual notifications get a little skinnier with Diet Bulletin. Next up on the list is Flag Paint Light. Now they do have two versions of Flag Paint Light, and if you pay for the actual tweak, it is the it gives you more features on here. But this actually has to do with your notifications once again. So as you see here, we have a colored notification, and that is what Flag Paint does. It gives you some color to your notifications, and it kind of blends in with the actual application. So here is a nine message. And as you see there, it changed colors from the previous uh, Tweetbot uh, notification. So if you do download the full version, you get more features on there. Here's the settings on the light version. You are just able to enable and disable the tweak and you can show a test banner. But by purchasing Flag Paint, you do get features as listed in that little description right there. So again, guys, that is Flag Paint Light. Pick it up for free, or you can actually pay for the full version on Cydia. As for the last tweak, this one is flusterless. Now, this is another thing that has to do with do not disturb. I find this useful for me at least. Uh, now, what this does is it gives you a toggle on your lock screen right here, and you just simply swipe to the right, and you can enable and disable do not disturb straight from your lock screen as you see there. So. That is flusterless. It's a basic tweak that gives you a toggle on your lock screen by your actual clock up top on the left side. So check it out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is actually going to be it for top 10 free city tweaks for your iOS device. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and give it a little thumbs up if you like the video. Also, go ahead and share the video and favorite it. 
if you did enjoy it. And if you're not following me yet on Facebook and or on Twitter, go ahead and do that for future updates. And if you're new to the channel and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all my future videos like this, unboxings, reviews, and all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.